when I was in Zimbabwe, I was working with for, um, for Barclays Bank and I was a member of the CTU and I was also a member of the National Constitutional Assembly. And in my hometown where I was staying in Marondela, it was uh, during that time it was a highly predominant PF area. Although I was never been in the MDC mainland, I became a target of the Sun PF uh, system in Marondela due to my work as a ZCTU member and as an NCA member. Then people were coming to my house in Zimbabwe. They went, people started to come to your house with unmarked cars and in black suits. And then I thought, as a, as a woman and as a single woman, at that time my husband had passed away in 2003. I felt my life threatened and then I to come to South Africa. I came via Botswana to seek exam in South Africa. And then when I came to South Africa, I also became very active with the civic society movements which were here in South Africa. During the operation in Brambachina, my house was then vandalized because I was not very vocal. Apparently here I was using my real name so people knew who I am and where I was staying. So my life has always been a threat. And, uh, Sometime in 2007, I also heard that my parents were threatened due to my human rights work here in South Africa. Although I'm not a member of the, any political uh, party, uh, but I do uh, advocate for the human rights for Zimbabweans and other migrant workers here. If, if my parents are being victimized also for my work, it shows that even if me, my life is also still at risk because if I go home, I don't even know who is watching over my parents' place because I don't have a place to go back to Zimbabwe anymore because I am a refugee in South Africa. The abuses which I suffered in Zimbabwe were my right to freedom of uh, association. Because if, if you are victimized because you don't associate with another certain group, it's, but when they say in the Bill of Rights you've got uh, free, you have, got to, you have got freedom of association. I was not allowed to associate with other than people. I was coerced to associate with organizations which I didn't want to all associate with. So my, my, my rights, they were infringed. So I was abused. It was an abuse because I was forced to go to a meeting which I was not supposed to be going because you have to go to a meeting on a voluntary basis or if you like it. So the rights for me as a citizen of Zimbabwe, I'm not a South African citizen. I'm not a resident of South Africa. So I'm in limbo, so I, I'm not yet free, that's all uh, I can say, I'm not yet free. My name is Tapio, I'm a victim of political abuse and a refugee in South Africa.